this is Marie Manu Cherry. Thank you for following me on this YouTube channel. You can also find content on my other social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. I've got something going on on all of those platforms. Today I wanted to talk to you about something really important and I think it's timely. Uh, the earth is going through a lot, and I don't mean just the planet herself, but all the inhabitants on top of earth are having a, quite a bit of challenges. And I think when people are really empathetic, like all of you are, you really care about the world, you care about humans, you care about animals, and old souls and empathic people are constantly sending love and blessings and wishing the best for all creatures, which is a wonderful thing. That's a beautiful and wonderful thing. At the same time, it's important to remember that where we live on planet Earth, this very popular time-space reality, over 7 billion human souls have traveled to live on this planet at this time. It's never a mistake or an oops when a soul decides to reincarnate into another dimension. And the Earth realm is the third dimensional time-space reality. It also is a temporary reality. It's not permanent. It's temporary. Everything that lives on Earth eventually dies. Even glaciers, dinosaurs. At some point, we don't know for sure, but at some point Earth herself, because I always think of her as a female entity, will also leave you know, the universe and go off into some other type of experience. Souls just want to have experiences. That's why they will continue to reincarnate in, even into a contractual time-space reality like Earth. It's, the, it's kind of a hot bed of experiences because you don't have to live here very long. You could live here a day, you could live here a few years, you could live here 100 years, although that's not typical um, to, that everybody lives here 100 years. So it's a short span of time in comparison to the time and other realities. Time is actually a man-made phenomenon. It's not a real thing. Science has proven this to us. It doesn't really exist outside of the Earth realm. And the Earth, this really cool planet that's very popular and billions of human souls live here along with all the other souls, it's a place of contrast. So let's say you were living in a non-physical reality, your last reincarnation. And let's say for the last 300 years, you have been working on compassion and you still hadn't quite figured it out. You, you've had some lessons, you've had some experiences. You understand it maybe from an intellectual perspective, but you haven't really embodied it into your being. In fact, right now we can look at the human world and we can see that in a lot of individuals. They might be able to speak about it, they may think they're compassionate, but compassion has no judgment, it's unconditional and its ability to love. It's a very powerful energy, and you can see why souls want to accomplish the task of really integrating into an understanding compassion at an extremely deep level. So if, you know, if what I'm saying is a good example that you were off in another time-space reality that was non-physical, because non-physical realities don't have a lot of contrast. You can manifest easier in a non-physical reality. You actually understand spirituality it's such a clear form. You can see creation, angels, God. Um, you don't have to eat or go to the bathroom or pay taxes. <laughs> you know, it's a very different reality. It's, it seems easier to grab concepts, but if you really want to learn compassion, come to earth. Spend five years here, 10 years, a lifetime, whatever that is for an individual, and you'll have so much contrast. You'll be challenged in your ability to forgive, your ability to release judgment, to accept yourself, to embrace things the way they are, to learn to surrender. All of that is required to really embody the aspect of compassion. So while we're having an unusual experience on earth, and, and I mean more so than than average and not just certain pockets of the globe, but really, you know, with a pandemic, meaning that, of course, it's worldwide and all the other things that are happening on the planet. I want you to remember that our planet was created to have contrast. And because it's a temporary reality, everything eventually leaves this planet. And trees could potentially live hundreds and hundreds of years. 
And sometimes they just want to go off and be recycled into something else. They don't want to live on the planet anymore. And souls are powerful. Everything has a soul. Every soul determines when it will come into a physical existence or some other time space reality and when it will leave a particular existence. So, of course, I want you to feel compassion and do things that are in your highest good and things that are in the highest good for the world. But feeling guilty, feeling mad, feeling frustrated, feeling enormous sorrow actually isn't going to help you. And spending a lot of time in that type of emotion isn't necessary. This is not a permanent reality. Things change here all the time. And it's supposed to. So try to enjoy your life more. Please don't spend so much time worrying. It's really not a good idea. It's not good for your adrenal glands. It's not great for your immune system. And we want you to be as healthy and as happy as you can be while you're here. Enjoy this temporary reality. Learn to feel comfortable with its contrast. Celebrate the choices that other beings are making, even when they decide not to be here any longer. I think we need to honor the choices that other souls are making because it's a gift to be able to live in multiple dimensions to determine through your free will, which is the strongest law in the universe, how long you're going to be in a physical form or how long you're going to live in a tree or how long other souls are going to choose to embody the physical reality. And we're going to cherish them. We're going to miss them. We'll even miss our time here on earth when we leave here. But it's okay. It's okay when something decides to leave. It's okay when change occurs. It's, of course, much harder when it's personally happening to you. But if it's not happening to you personally, do your very best not to hold on to the stress and the anxiety and the worry. Because it's not helping you. It's not helping humanity. It's not positively positively affecting the earth. It's just creating stress and anxiety for you. I hope that's helpful. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.